Yo guys, going back to another brand new video on my YT channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a little tutorial on how to actually um, set your own AFK farm for the new Trial 2 for Akainu in ASTDX. I'm also going to be showing you guys how to use a macro that I've already made. A right, link for it will be in the description. Basically, everything you're, you, know, you need to know is all in there. My display settings. Uh, my camera angle and the macro itself um in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your own but you guys can also use the one that i've linked in the description so anyways let's get right into this video all right guys so in this video i'm basically going to be showing you guys how to set up a afk farm with tiny task for this trial 2 right here for akainu um and like i said in the intro you guys can use the macro i've already used in the description there's a google drive down there it has everything you need to know inside the google drive but basically to set up your own afk farm this is the team i'm going to be using a uh, level 80 Midas uh farm uh with sss money you don't need Midas, but i recommend level 80 with sss on his money stat um aaron is a must need don't need companion you just need to have aaron um because he's a shield breaker don't need to have him ascended or good level or good trait he's just dead break shields um as death um I recommend you use SF. If you don't have her, you can use somebody else that is a slow, I guess, or early wave defender. Um, that's really up to you. And then these two are kind of like must-have units as well. So you need to have a level 70 to 80 white beard ascended SSS everything. Not everything, but I recommend SS S stats. And you need to have level 80 ascended Okiora as well. Well, he doesn't need to be ascended, he just needs to be a good level and able to kill off the ears anyways now if you guys want to set up your macro basically the camera angle i'm going to be doing is you just stand right into the middle of this thingy like at the little bit that's poking out kind of just run your face into the pokey bit like the point that's furthest out right and then zoom your camera out all the way make it so your camera can see those two thingies just barely kind of like this and be able to see these two big boulders here and then have your screen on the replay screen like i have right here and then what you guys want to do is open tiny task as administrator so basically when you search for tiny task you should find this and click run as administrator click yes and then basically what it does it makes it so there's less delay and when you save your macro it saves properly right Put it to the side or something. I'm going to put it in the top right corner. Close that. Go to preferences. Play speed should be 1 with continuous playback selected. Recording hockey. Playback hockey is personal preference. And yeah, I'm going to leave it up there. And then what you guys want to do is kind of like this, alright? Do your recording hockey. So it's recording. Spam replay for about 5 seconds, I'd say, to make sure it works. Click 5 on your keyboard and just place down your farms. And then click start game. Basically, yeah, you just kind of farm from wave one to four. So I'll kind of speed this up for you guys because it's just me placing down my farms right now until wave four. So I'll come back to you guys when it's around wave four. By the way, guys, once it's wave three, right before the wave three ends, it's going to do this little thingy where the cards pop up. Make sure not to click anything while wave three is ending. And once the cards click up, then spam the green card on the very left for like a few solid seconds. And then make sure to upgrade your farms real quick. And um, you guys can use the unit manager real quick if you guys want to. Um, I use it, but, you know, you don't need to, but... It kind of just makes everything easier, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, once it's wave 5, this is what you guys want to do, right? You want to click as death. You want to click her down right here, right? I'll close it so you guys can kind of see. But you want to click her right there and spam her a few times. And then click as death and click her over there. Click T and then upgrade any one of your farms that aren't upgraded real quick. And then basically until wave uh yeah until wave eight i'd say just keep farming and once it's wave eight i'll come back to you guys but basically once it's wave eight you want to upgrade both your s deaths to upgrade one all 
Alright, so wave seven's about to end. And like I said on wave three, um where the cards pop up. On wave seven when it ends the cards pop up again. So just be careful. Click the green card again, spam it a few times. And then once it's wave eight, I recommend you get both your S deaths to level or upgrade one. And then just basically turn all of your farms upgrades to auto. And then you just kind of sit there. Do nothing, I guess. Just sit there and wait until your farms are maxed out. Until wave 10. So, yeah. I'm just going to come back to you guys once my farms all maxed out. Alright, guys. So, my farms have just been maxed out. Once you guys' farms are maxed out, you guys want to quickly place your white beard so you don't, you know, die. And then get him to, I guess, as high upgrade as you can right now. Uh, I got him already. Yeah, you just place him, get him to upgrade 6. Um, I'm kind of short on money right now. But yeah, boom, there you go, upgrade 6. Easy as that. Once you guys get him to upgrade 6, which is his full AoE... You guys should be chilling now. I hope nobody leaked through there. But yeah, once you guys got that, you guys want to click your errands. And you want to place them kind of like where I place them. Kind of like that. You place your four errands in a line like this. But because I have companion, uh, basically, I can place five. So I'll place five. And then let me just click the screen card real quick. And then you want to click your errands, gigantification, do it for all of them. By the way, don't spam click this, that is a bad idea because you will just reverse it, alright? You just spam the errand, make sure you're on him, and then just click gigantification once, alright? And then basically, yeah, it's wave 13 now, you want to place your Okioras one on each hill. Right, and get each of them to upgrade three. So, let me just... Oh, why did I scroll down? Okay, don't scroll down, by the way. Click the bottom arrow. Scrolling down kind of... It doesn't It doesn't do anything. All right. All right, boom, boom, boom. Get them all to upgrade three. Click on them. Click Q four times so it sets the priority to air. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Alright, now that that's done, what you guys want to do is... Well, it's wave 15 now, so I recommend you sell your farms. But before you do, place your white beard on the ground. Click on him. Get him to upgrade 6 as well. And then click on the up arrow. Click on your farm. Sell. Sell. So, so, and then place another white beard all the way at the top here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then underneath. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you guys should be chilling now. This should be all you guys need to do. You guys should win the game just like this. Um, except you guys need to put, right, two s deaths at the top, right? Put an s death there and put an s death there because there's people that spawn on these two mountains here or these two little rocks. Place your two s deaths there and they'll kill them. And then basically, yeah, click and place your four farms again. This is just to, you know, be stun bait, I guess. So when Kizaru and Aokiji come, they're going to stun your units. Basically, placing down your farms will make it less likely for them to stun your DPS units. Yeah. Now, I'm just going to click away. Click unit manager. Click up. Click. Uh, I guess. I have money to upgrade another white beard. So, I guess I'll click on this white beard here. And upgrade him. That white beard there. Upgrade him. Just, just you know, use your money. And before you guys end your macro, just make sure you close your unit manager, right? And then, yeah. Now, basically, you just have to sit and wait for, like, basically until you win the game.
All right, guys. There you go. Aokiji is dead. He's dead. Beat the round in 9 minutes, 52 seconds, baby. Chee-hoo. All right, anyways, before you guys end your macro there, what you guys want to do is wait for a solid extra 30 seconds or so, maybe an extra minute if you feel like, you know, like it. I'm just going to wait until my timer at the top reaches 10 minutes, 30 seconds. This is to basically make sure that, if, you know, maybe my units got stunned. It might take a few, you know, 10 seconds or so longer to kill the bosses. So that's just to make sure that my thingy ends. And then what you guys want to do is just spam click for a few seconds, right? Boom, 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 boom. And boom. And your macro just like that. Now, before you guys replay your macro and test it, you guys need to save it first. All right, because this is glitch with Tiny Toss, where if you play your macro and then you stop your macro midway through and then save it again, it's going to save the macro only up to the part where you stopped it. So you have to save it before you play it again, because just in case you, you know, stop your macro and then save it, it won't work anymore. So you guys have to save it and then try it out, all right? But basically, that's how you do the macro. Um, uh, I mean, I've already made a macro for this, so I'll put that in the Google Drive that I said earlier. Um, I don't really need this macro, but I guess I'll save it just, you know, for the future real quick. Um, macro I made in vid. Boom. Save it for, you know, just in case my other macro breaks. But yeah, that's basically it. That's basically the end of the video. That's how you make your macro right there. Um, yeah. You guys can test it out. Uh, after you guys saved it, you guys can test it out and see if it works. If it doesn't, you guys can try my macro. If that doesn't work, then uh, just keep trying to make your own, I guess. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, please smash the like button, press the red subscribe button, turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any of my latest uploads. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace and have a great rest of your day.